Yeah, Mamata, could you please introduce about yourself? Thank you so much for TechPlot Software Solutions for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Mamata Sir. I am from AP, but currently I am staying in Hyderabad. Now I am pursuing Bachelor of Commerce in Siddhartha Degree College. I have completed my inter in Sharda Degree College and have completed my SSE in um, Shanti Vidyaniketan High School. Okay. So, may I know uh, what was the experience with the TechiFlow workshop? Um, I have gained some knowledge about uh, IT, sir, IT companies, and I have known about the different types of uh, developers, how they work. Okay, how many types of applications do we have, uh, Mamata? Applications, we have five types of applications, sir. First one is web application, and second one is window application. Uh, Android application, iOS application, and standalone applications. Yeah, what is how many types of uh, mobile applications are there? Mobile applications. We have two types: uh, um, iPhone, uh, Android. Okay, present version of the iPhone. Um, twelve point uh, six point. Are you sure? Present uh, version of the Android. Android fifteen point. Harisha? Yes, sir. Okay. So, how many types of environments do we have? We have five types of five phases in environment like local environment, dev development environment, QA environment, uh, staging environment, and production environment. Sir. Could you please tell me about local environment? What exactly happening in the local? In local environment, they develop the code with 100% of coding with the unit test and without UI, sir. Okay, who will do the unit testing? Unit testing will developers. And uh, same production the environment also, users will do the unit testing or not? In? Production environment, users will do the unit testing or not? Um, in production environment, they will produce the production into the market, sir. Okay, so at that time, users. They will are doing the unit testing? No sir, testers will do the unit testing. Okay. What is the meaning of EPIC? EPIC, EPIC yeah. means larger requirement. Okay, if I give the phone number field, Mamata, okay, sir. if I give the phone number field, how yeah. you are going to check? Um, I will enter the number, sir. Okay. If it will uh, accepting when I am entering the numbers, okay. then it is phone numbers application. Oh. Yeah, no, uh, what are the validations you are going to check in the phone number field? How many validations? First you are entering the number, right? Numbers so field. next. Um, and um, searching whether it is uh, correct or wrong, sir. Okay. So uh, what is the advantages of waterfall model? Waterfall model. Um, it will take a large time to if uh, anyone the client will giving the production to the waterfall model okay. they will take some time after completing that uh, one production after they will go to the another production sir okay what is the uh, uh, meaning of sdlc software development life cycles what are the drawback of waterfall model mamata drawback yeah and they will take uh, so much time okay by developing the project sir Okay, uh, what is the meaning of e-commerce domain? E-commerce domain means buying and selling, sir. Okay. For example, give me some examples of e-commerce. Um, like uh, we can buy anything uh, in online. Tell me some online uh, e-commerce applications. Uh, buying and selling means Amazon. Okay. We can buy anything and we can sell, replace it. Okay, good. So what is the meaning of the healthcare domain? Healthcare domain means um, online applications, sir. Yeah. Um, in recent time, we have COVID, so we have applied it on the online application. Once we will apply our details in the online application, we can thoroughly go to the hospitals with, with, with that application. Okay. See, uh, in the Azel model, like how the workflow is going on? In the Azel model? Yes. Azure model is uh, 
known as incremental and iterative process. Okay. It has nine phases. Okay. First phase is PO sign in. Okay. PO sign in means if the client giving the production to the product owner, okay. the next step is ready for refinement. It means the product owner giving the requirements to the refinement. Uh, for example, if we have a uh, thousand of uh, products, okay. then Re the requirements, thousand um, of requirements, thousand of requirements, then the requirement uh, will go to the red next one is re ready for development. The requirement will um, separate some re requirements. Okay. Then the next step is the development in progress. The given the re development. They will develop the progress. Then next step, they will go to the peer review. Pre review means the higher position. Uh, they will explain about the development progress, and then they are testing the codes. Then they are coming to the ready for QA. QA means quality assurances. They will check the uh, requirements, and they will coming to the next ready. QA in progress whether the product is uh, is ready or not they will check and after coming to the point of PO sign off in the product owner they will ask to the uh, QA in progress that if there are any inquiries please let me know afterwards I will uh, assign this okay what is the meaning of the beta testing what, sir? what is the meaning of beta testing? Beta testing. Beta testing means within the clients, sir. Are you sure? Beta? Yes, sir. I am sure. <laughs> what is the meaning of alpha testing? Uh, alpha means uh, within the organization. Okay, good. So, what is the meaning of smoke testing and who will do the smoke testing? Smoke testers. Smoke testing means uh, the tester, uh, wait, sir. the developer will develop the code sir okay. after they will assign to the testers sir. how they will assign through which own support testers no developer did the coding right yes sir. after the coding the people are doing deployment to the uh, deployment to the qa environment yes sir. right with the whom support the people are doing the deployment developers developers only did the code yes sir but who will deploy the code mm. one phase to one phase who will who will do deployment so we have the local code. Yes, sir. So local code is going to dev. dev. How the code is going? With through the developer, sir. Through the developer, but with whom support? Developers, two types of developers are there. Yes, sir. Full stack developer. With server support, no? Ah, with server support. With server support, only code deployed into one phase to another phase. Another phase, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. So what is the meaning of uh, retesting? Retesting means if the developer uh, developing the code and they assign to the tester, if anything defect or uh, any bu anything defect will occurs, the testers will uh, assign to the developer. If the developer is sure that there is no any defect in that code, um, then they will send to uh, send to the tester. Okay, what are the phases available in the SDLC? SDLC. Yeah. SDLC have seven phases: initial, analyze, initial, analyzing, designing, development, um, designing, development, testing, production, and maintenance. Okay. What is your short-term goal, Mamata? My short-term goal is to get uh, a higher position, sir. Okay. So before the workshop, after the workshop, mm. what did you gain here? I have gained some knowledge, sir. Before workshop, I don't know anything about uh, IT companies, how they work, what is the process. But after coming to the workshop, I have gained some knowledge about the software systems okay. and the um, codings, uh, coding languages. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Mamuta. We will get back to you soon. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you.